Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I got a video of the OSX 10.7 Lion. So this video is going to be covering the OS features and what exactly is new. And um, yeah, so let's just get started with the video. Right here I have um, the Apple page loaded up here so I remember what to touch upon. So that you can see pretty much everything at least Apple is featuring and of course there is much more differences so I have the camera running over here showing all the gestures so you can see how the difference is and how um, it's really much different um, before I get into more of the features there's one um, a few things they decided to switch the scrolling at least default I don't know if we can change it but they decided to make it so that if you want to scroll down, you scroll up with two fingers rather than scrolling down. Um, I'm sure you can change that in system preferences, but it's just something you have to get used to. So, um, first, let's just look at full screen applications. So, Safari is one of those applications that supports that as of right now. So, if we full screen Safari, you can see the full experience of Safari as we hit Command T and uh, let's just say go to iosforlife.com you got the full web browsing experience now all these PC users must be saying wow that's pathetic they just got full screen well actually we've had pretty much full screen for a while PC users have um, their still start button this takes up the full entire screen and makes it so that you have powerful web browsing or whatever application you're using and some other applications have supported it but this is going to be standard for every application to support full screen so that's going to be really cool and exciting now also when you scroll in Safari and a few other applications it's much more like iOS when you scroll to the top you got like this um like this background kind of thing and also they improve the multi-touch gestures much like it's so much different if you look it's much more smooth we actually got like the iPad kind of style zooming and uh, all that so you can see it's really smooth zooming in it's not that like it snaps it's smooth just like the iPad the iPhone and all the iOS devices it is just really really nice and to see this OS come together it's going to be great so we're just going to scroll down we got the Mac App Store which we've all seen I'll show you that in a little bit if you want to next we're going to go to Launchpad so by we can switch out of our application just like that and keep it in full screen so that is a four figure swipe and we're over here so I'm going to show you Launchpad and it's actually really cool it's much like iOS which I really like in my opinion so we're just going to click this launch pad actually I think there's another multi-touch gesture to uh, get into launch pad let's just look at that if we can I don't forget what the multi-touch gesture is at this point so anyways we're just going to click that right there and you can see we're going to click into utilities it's just like iOS with the folders and all that style so we're just going to click out of that just like that I'm still getting used to the OS itself and then we can make a simple um, drag into folder and drop you can also make new folders so let's just take iPhoto or let's take iWeb and put it with Skype so it automatically, just like the iPhone applications, it detects it and detects what kind of um, app it is and it makes the proper um, name. So if we want to edit that, I'm not exactly sure how to do that at this point. Um, we just launched Skype. But anyways, you can see that Launchpad is really going to be a powerful aspect to um, Mac OS X 10.7 so if we um, with two fingers we can scroll just like that and it goes back and forth it's much it's bringing the trackpad to pretty much the iOS level with the multi-touch 
We also have the Apple Magic Mouse, which I can show right here, which has a few more multi-touch gestures, but it's nothing compared to iOS. So like just like right here, we're scrolling with just the finger, and there's a few more, but I really suggest the trackpad if you want the full experience. However, if you're hooked up to a, a um, alternative display, I suggest the Magic Mouse, at least in my opinion, that's what I like. But if you're using your MacBook Pro, you're going to want to use your trackpad because you got the full experience. So let's go back over to Safari and let's check over here. And the, the OS is pretty bug free, at least right now. You saw that little bit of lag, but that's pretty much it. That's all I'm seeing. So I just showed you full screen apps, and you can see that I'm in the full screen app. To exit full screen, simple as clicking that button. It has a nice um, transition, which will probably get better in the rest of the betas. So um, you can see right there, you got this toolbar that will come down. You can still search. And... Huh. I don't know what indexing is, maybe it's because I just installed the OS. Down here, we got mission control. So, if we hit the expose button, the expose button, we get the full um, mission control. It's not expose anymore, it's mission control. So you have access to your normal application, so Safari, you got your Skype, which you're currently using, your desktop, um, if, I don't know if that was a bug, that's supposed to go to the desktop, but Skype's there instead. So let's try that again, desktop, and then we also can go right over to dashboard, which is a complete application in itself. And the multi-touch gesture if I'm saying that right, I know that a lot of people corrected me in the past videos when I say gesture. We just forefinger swipe up, just like if you were to um, move all the applications out of the way in the older 10.6. So if we just swipe up, we got um, expose, kind of, um, it's more called mission control, but it's expose and has much more functionality. And we will definitely see more functionality in the future. So let's go back over to our Safari and actually let's um, multi-touch gest gesture into it which is really nice and again that two finger scroll down so we got all those gestures which I'm trying to put into um, right now we got auto save which I can't really show you because this is just a new um, a new uh, fresh install. We got resume which I have not tested. Um, if we want I can show that at the end of the video. I can show you mail 5. Mail 5 is um, really powerful and it's much more like iOS which I'm actually really liking. We got airdrop which I have not um, tried at all because I don't have another computer online. We got File Vault, which I still have not tried that either. We got Lion Server, and um, we can actually try that if we want. I have not tried that. So if you want to see any of these other things, um, leave a comment down below, and I will uh, definitely show you because I have the OS. And this is not a cracked OS. Um, I got this from the official Mac developer account. But if people are wondering if they want a pirated version and possibly screw up their Mac, you can look at the link. It's a torrent down below. Um, I'll provide you with that. However, I do not suggest it at all because it is pirating the software and it's um, not stable. So if we look at the OS itself, you can see that everything it has a kind of skin or a... Um, UI change. So we got all my files, which is much different than uh, your average uh, Mac OS X. So we got AirDrop right here, which we cannot detect my other MacBook Pro because that is not running OS X Lion. So if we go to desktop, we got our desktop stuff. Let's so just eject that DMG. We got my user, which is right there. Applications. 
and uh, see if we can find that lion server. I haven't, I forgot about looking into that. And we still got expose, it still says expose, not mission control. Okay, and now I'm going to go show you Mail 5. Mail 5 is the new powerful mail application built into the Mac, which is supposed to um, help you keep all your mail, emails, all in line with a simple mail client. It's much like um, the iPad mail. It has the split UI which with this right here, and then the right over here with the um, moving um, images. So let's just hit that uh, full screen button so we can check out full screen. And uh, also if we, we can switch from full screen application to full screen application, which is really cool. So if we go over to Safari, again the multi-touch gesture, we can just swipe, just swipe right over. Uh, that's actually three finger tap. Um, and you can see right here, we got our mail. And I just have one email set up at the moment. But you can see that. And it's much like the iOS mail. So it's really nice and it brings you more closer to iOS. If you really like iOS, you're going to be liking Mac OS X 10.7. So we're just going to exit out of full screen. We'll go back over to Safari which is right there and I think that's going to finish up the Mac OS X Lion Tour because I do not notice anything else um, different at least right now okay and I would show you the mail um, login but I already have my um, all my emails set up but if you go to a new um, email you can actually log in and it'll prompt you to just configure your email client with the simple click of the button from Safari right over to the mail client. So that's really nice. Now you can also scroll left or right inside um, Safari just like that. So like just like over here we can do the same thing. We got a little bit of lagging going on. It's um, kind of getting a little messed up. But you can see that the multi-touch gestures are really brings this OS into a new OS. You don't have anything like that on Windows 7. So that's what I really like and it separates the OS and really brings it into touch more than and brings it really revolutionizes it in a sense. So if we go over to the trackpad options we got all these different um, things. So we can mission control if we can do that. Mission control, swipe up. So a few of these options in system preferences are a little messed up because they haven't fully um, upgraded that. So in here we got um, mail now has a internet accounts option and that's really all I can notice in the system preferences for different um, or new things. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it didn't drag on too long. I hope you found it interesting. And I hope you click that like button down in uh, the description area. You leave a comment and uh, tell me what you think. Tell me what you want to see. And I hope I can help anyone who's uh, feeling like a pirate and wants to just try it on a partition on their OS. Now I would not suggest um, installing this as your primary operating system. I would suggest um, installing it as a partition on your hard drive. That's what I did and um, it's running on I think about 50 gigabytes on my hard drive and I still have Snow Leopard on my other um, partition. Rate, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.